Hello guys and uh, welcome to this informational video about the Asus G751 which is this laptop right here. Now this is my laptop for the past one and a half years maybe and uh, in the meantime I've run into some problems with it. Uh, I'm going to share about them in the videos and uh, in this way new buyers and maybe uh, people who already bought this laptop can be aware of the problems this laptop might uh, cause. Um, there are some problems with the battery apparently for some laptops uh, a lot actually because I got a lot of comments about uh, that battery uh, so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you about these problems and what to look for uh, and so on I will also include in this video a way to, to look for the battery status so you know what what to look for before we get into details um, and it's worth mentioning that uh, the laptop will be already disassembled in this video so I can show you the internals uh, and if you don't know how to do this you can find the link somewhere here this way you will know uh, how to do this if you don't so uh, let's get into this now first we're gonna talk about upgradable parts the only parts that can actually be upgraded on this laptop are the hard drives which are here and also the RAM. There is nothing else that can be upgraded since everything else is soldered directly on the motherboard and there is no way of uh, removing it. Now there, uh, as most of you probably know, there is an, uh, there is an M SATA port here and uh, two normal hard drive uh, slots. And here is the RAM slot. Now these are actually only the only upgradable parts in this laptop. start off with the fans. This is the fan and uh, as you can see it's a what's this? That's a 12 volt for uh, 0 4 amperes. Uh, this is what you should be looking for if you're buying uh, if you're looking for a replacement one because uh, I got a question about what exactly is the type of fan. Uh, they cannot be opened, uh, they cannot be oiled. Uh, unfortunately, because you cannot actually take out the, the, the fan blades uh, in, in order to, to oil them. You might want to know it's a 4-pin. Uh, and this is essentially what you need if you're looking for a replacement one. And we can continue with the other, with the other parts. Uh, first of all is uh, the battery here, which is replaceable, as I said in my previous video. The battery has only one year of warranty, so if you buy this laptop, usually it has the, the whole laptop has two years of warranty, but this battery in particular has only one year. So if you notice any weird activity with the battery, uh, maybe it doesn't want to charge to full percentage, these are the things you might want to look for, uh, or it, it charges very slow, this is also an option. Be aware that the battery might be defective. I found out there are quite a lot of laptops which are sold with defective battery. Mine was also defective. They changed mine uh, because uh, after only six months of usage, I got uh, I couldn't charge charge the laptop past uh, eighty percent. Uh, and uh, they mine is actually a new one. Uh, I'm not actually gonna remove it now because I have to take out the entire motherboard, and I really don't want to do this now. Uh, the battery is replaceable, uh, the, you have the battery information uh, here if, you, if you're looking for a new one. To check your battery usage, you can go to Start menu and then type CMD, which stands for Command Prompt. Most of you know this. Then here you type Power CFG, Power CFG space, Battery Report. Now this is going to save a battery life report in .html file, it's going to be saved by default in your users folder, uh, which you can find, this you can close this, then you go, uh, you go to uh, disk C users, my usually, uh, in this case my own, uh, I opened Outlook, uh, and then you can put it on the desktop or open it there, and once you open this, uh, you can find here below you can find this this is what you, you need to be looking for the battery capacity history 
Now, when this battery was brand new, uh, it had 83,000 milliwatts. Uh, this was the full capacity this battery can, can charge. Right now, at the moment, it's 79,000 milliwatts, which is pretty acceptable. And uh, this is pretty much what, what we need to be looking at. Internal uh, RAM slots, which are on the underside uh, of the of the motherboard, you actually have to disassemble. You have to remove the keyboard panel to get to access these. Next one is uh, the subwoofer. I, I got some questions about this now as well. Now this is the subwoofer here. This is under this ribbon cable. Uh, here is the the wire, which is for the for the sound. It goes here. Uh, now. A lot of people, uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know this, but when they released this laptop, they, they, it had the wrong driver in it. It had the wrong driver installed, and uh, this means that at the beginning it was using this uh, subwoofer as another speaker. Now the problem is that when this subwoofer uh, plays high uh, tones, it, uh, may, it may break the membrane, and then you get this uh, awful cricket sound, as they call it. Uh, now, so if you have, uh, the, if, if, if your subwoofer is making weird noises when, when, you, when it's on full volume, then either try to reinstall the, the driver to find the, new, the newest version and install the newest version of the driver uh, for, the, for the sound, for the sound card. Uh, and if it still does this after the, uh, the new driver, then uh, you, might, you may consider buying a new one because it's probably either broken or... or it's a diff it's defective. Now, the next thing I want us to uh, speak about are the uh, GPU and CPU. Uh, they're under here. This is, uh, I, I think this is the CPU and this is the GPU right here. They are non-replaceable and non-upgradable. They are soldered on the motherboard. Uh, you cannot remove them, you cannot upgrade them. One more thing I want to point out is this thing right, right here. This is the Wi-Fi card and mine was actually defective as well. So I, I got a uh, defective battery and defective Wi-Fi card. Uh, in every game I tried to play, it, I, I was getting this awful rubber banding lag. Uh, it was impossible to play them, uh, to play any game uh, with the Wi-Fi. It didn't affect uh, internet speeds uh, to browse the web and so on but it did affect games they have they have some problems in general but it's it's not it's not a deal breaker for me uh, as I said I have this laptop laptop for over uh, one and a half years now I'm pretty pleased with it it does whatever I want uh, it, it meets uh, my needs and uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to ask something else, uh, write it in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like the video. And thank you for watching.